the 3rd of June, we're going to have our fourth design jam that explores services in the city and the use of open data. We're expecting to have a lot of London-based creative and digital SMEs with us today. We're hoping that you are here today to be inspired. We're hoping that you're here today to collaborate, to make new connections, to challenge yourself and to engage in a, in a friendly competition as well. And above all, to have fun as well. Data is constantly being collected. You can actually link to traffic cameras around the city in real time. Open mobile devices have an enormous variety of uh, mechanisms by which you can collect data. So I came here to understand what people are already doing with open data, what sort of open data sources there already are, and what the possibilities are with using that data to make you know, lives and businesses better. I'm an account manager at Signal Noise. We work with a whole range of clients to help them visualise information and data. This is me. This is all the data that every company that I've ever had a relationship with knows about me. So I'm Chris Downs, I'm a designer, an entrepreneur and data obsessive and my role today is to facilitate the workshop to introduce the participants into the idea of designing with data. Most of the apps in your pocket are gathering as much data from as they are providing utility back. Professor of Urban Design at Imagination Lancaster. I'm interested in cities, in place, in people, uh, fundamentally the relationship between perhaps physical place and digital space and how cities, our well-being, our health and what the future might be in that kind of regard. These are just catalysts. What we've done is we've tried to capture everybody's ideas that you've expressed to us uh, before lunch, try to see where the patterns are, what the linkages are, but it's just a platform for you to start. So we'd like you to obviously gravitate to the one that you think is the most interesting or perhaps the most resonant. My name is Samia Parvez and um, I co-founded Andiamo. This is the third one that I have attended. The first one that I attended, um, I actually won the presentation because I pitched Andiamo to the group. Following on from that, we got the 10,000 voucher to work with, with the university. Winning that voucher meant universities were pitching to us. We weren't pitching to universities. And um, as a startup, that's a very unusual dynamic and it's very, very powerful for us. The hour is upon us. We're going to start over in this corner. So our solution is called Balanced Baskets, an app that shows you the hidden data behind the products you're buying and allows you to make better buying decisions that reflect what matters most to you. The main aim is to connect our people looking for information in flight to <coughs> local services through local people which are actually flying together with them. Your formal education, your life experiences, all of that data goes into our data engine. So based on how you're, you're doing it, this system is going to make recommendations for you. You can opt out and not use the system. Come retirement age, if you haven't hit where you said you wanted to hit, then your pension is affected. So at that stage, if you can't live on what your pension is, it then becomes a mandatory service, so you start to give back and sort of supplement your pension. Generally, whenever you go to your GP and he says to you, here's a prescription, hardly anybody else goes to collect their prescription. We supply her with a shopping list, but also with some ideas about how to cook. The user can have a measurement party, or if they're going on holiday, they can make use of the existing uh, body scanners 
they can be given this biometric card with their biometric data on it. So they can... There were some really good presentations here today, some really great products. So um, we had a real job picking out the um, reasons why some one person should win. So the winner is Majority Report. <laughs>